One of my favorite things about being in 2023 is there's always these big signs that tell you exactly where you are in the world, like this one. Now I know that I'm at the split. This is the split. If you're at Key Cocker, this is gonna be one of the number one activities you're gonna do. You have the Lazy Lizard right to my left, a bunch of little shops, and then the main street going into Key Cocker. Key Cocker is not nearly as big as San Pedro. The population is about 2,000 people. It's really just one street. They might have like 20 golf carts over here. So you're gonna see in this video, the vibe is very different. This is more of a backpacker vibe. But the number one thing you're probably gonna do when you're here is go over to the Lazy Lizard right over there. Right now I'm over here with Pace Belize. This guy is a legend in Key Cocker. Original. Original bro. Why do you love Key Cocker? Man, I love Key Cocker because it's far less violent and the money make here. Everybody comes here for a living. And in Key Cocker, you can take sand and you can decorate it and you can sell it. So life is good over here. Life is good, man. Life is not good. Life is amazing. What about the vibes here? Well, the vibes is good. That's what I love most. Cocker right now. Why do you love Key Cocker? Why do you love Key Cocker? Yes? I love Key Cocker because it's really interesting and the food is really nice. Over here, the people, nice. the people is really nice. I love the vibe. The vibe is nice. I love the water, swimming. I can swim, they can swim. So I <laughs> meeting more people out here that follow the channel make sure if you guys see me in the street or I guess the beach come over and say hi please guys shout out to Jenny <laughs> <laughs> more friends out here guys the key talker energy is lit all the friends Thank you. Come down. <laughs> Thank you. we're trying to cover the whole island in one day it is a small island but I feel like everywhere we're walking we're meeting so many amazing people but my next little tip when you're in Key Cocker, you should check out the Sip and Dip. This is an amazing little bar where they've got swings in the water, great vibes, music, good food. So we're not gonna go here today. Maybe if we have time, we'll stop on the way back, but definitely worth checking out while you're in Key Cocker. We just arrived at Key Cocker, but we heard from the locals here that there are dolphins swimming around the island. There's a lot of them apparently. So we're gonna go midday, back on the boat, quickly out around the island, try to find the dolphins, then come back and show you the rest of the day. I don't know if we're gonna see them, I hope we do. One of the things you gotta try when you're at Key Cocker is the barbecue. You'll know you're there because you'll see the Key Cocker sign right behind me and the grills are literally right over here. They got the fresh caught lobster, they have sausages, they have chicken, so everything you can want. If you're a vegetarian, you might want to move on to the next option. So what's what's the best here? Oh, okay. right now guys. Here we go. That's a 12 out of 10. Let's go. 12. Whenever you think about vacation, make sure you come to Belize City in Key Cocker, right in front of the park, okay? And we have five local vendors out here amazing food guys amazing amazing food so thank you guys the energy is so good on key cocker right now but we're gonna go get on the boat and try to find these dolphins again no guarantees i hope we find them We 
got dolphins right now, somewhere over here. All right, we got dolphins. Belize dog right here. When it comes to where to stay in Key Cocker, you're not going to find really big resorts for the most part. It is a hostile island. The one if you're a luxury traveler I would say is Blue Zen. It's north of the split where we started. And if it's not that, if you just want to be here, experience everything, then one of the many hostels is what I'd recommend. I'm just feeling like a little bit uncomfortable right now. I'm not fully immersed in the Key Cocker vibe yet. Let's see if I can do something about that. I feel so much better now. What about you guys? Feeling great. Fresh. Wow. We only had a 3X, so I'm feeling pretty good. Feeling great. Pretty good. So there's two ways to get to Key Conquer, or maybe there's a third I'm not aware of, but you can either fly in here with Tropic or Maya. The airstrip is right at the end of the street that we are walking down right now. Or you can take the water taxi. The water taxi comes from San Pedro and it comes from Belize City. In either case, you're going to arrive right here in the middle of town, right by the basketball court. Then you can go to wherever you're staying. So very convenient, very affordable, and right in the town center here. little friends guys it's about the friendship hi guys my name is Simone Sleo and I live on Kikaka currently I'm an entrepreneur in Belize as well as Miss Earth Belize 2022 this here is my hostel it's called Bella's Backpackers and it's located in Kikaka on the tiny island that I live on so now we're at Bella's Backpackers. If you're wondering where you should stay when you come to Kikakar, I'm here with Simone. This is her hostel, and she's hey gonna show us a little bit of the hostel right now. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll start in the backyard. One thing that's really nice about the property is we have a lovely backyard that's actually right next to the sea. So it's easy to grab some kayaks, jump in the water, head out, explore around, and then we can continue down. We have a little tiki bar that gets really lively in the nighttime. Everyone comes, it's a great place for activities, meeting people different things like this. You guys got to experience that tiki bar vibe and also they have a mini party boat back here that Simone just told me every Sunday is amazing. Yeah, so every Sunday what we do is we take the houseboat out and we go for Sunday fun day because on the island there's not really much to do on a Sunday so what we decided to do is create a nice fun activity for hostel guests as well as people on the island to come and join in. And what we usually do is we play a bunch of games like Jenga, beer pong, volleyball and then we jump on the boat just before sunset and head out for a swim stop and then enjoy the beauty of the island. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Hector. Welcome to Pelican Sunset, the best ceviche in Kikaka, all right? We love Kikaka because we have the best girls here, man. <laughs> Come on, check it out, all right? You're gonna love it. <laughs> I've heard of it. I've heard of it. It's lunchtime. This is something that we really need to show you guys, but I'm not sure if you can see behind me. We have rain clouds coming, so Ashton and I are gonna try to get ahead of this. 
and get over there before this rain hits so you can see maybe the top activity in Key Conquer. Let's get in here. I want to show you guys the tarpon feeding. Now, what is a tarpon? Tarpon are these huge fish, and we're going to hold little fish, and they're going to jump up and grab them. Hopefully, they might be full. Now, I want to feed some tarpon. Yeah. Is, it, is it the spot? Yeah. That's right. This could be a, an appetizer or it could be tarpon yeah. feeding. That's it, we fed some tarpon. Chewy is going crazy, so I'm gonna get her out of here. But uh, definitely need to check that out. Come on, you guys hungry? <laughs> Those tarpon are jumping. Chewy was going crazy. We almost had a second Chewy jump, but it's a moment like this, guys, where you literally have to sit back and appreciate the vibes, the go slow mantra. We're about to go for dinner, and it's just the energy. Go slow, right here on Kikaka. Chewy jumped off the boat, chasing dolphins right in the water. Life going faster and faster. I'm hungry, let's go get some pasta at Pasta Per Casa. Yo, check me out. Oh. Is that Ruben Young? Oh, well. oh my god, it sounded like Ruben Young. That's exactly like him. We gotta go in and say hi to Armando. So this is Pasta for Casso. It's a family run business. They do two dishes a day. You're gonna see right now, and Armando's right here. Armando and Anna have a surprise on the wall over here for Ruben. Let me see this. Ruben, have you seen this yet? Say what? Not because we have to, but because we love you! I have to take a quick second before we eat to just tell me this is literally the best restaurant in Belize. Out of all the things you saw in the video today, if you're in Key Cocker, Pasta Bercasso is the number one thing I recommend you do. It's so good. The best thing about Pasta Bercasso is the homemade pasta. Freshly made every day, the atmosphere, the wine, the sauces are really good. They have homemade bread also. Everyone is happy. Just about to talk with Armando about the restaurant, but we ran into Steve who had dinner here last night, right? Night before last. Night before. How was the food? Oh, a vegetarian meal that was to die for. Wonderful. The pasta was out of this world. Now I'm standing with Armando, guys. You saw him when we walked in. This is a family-run restaurant. Him and his wife, Anna. Honestly, the best food in Belize. But Armando, tell us a little bit about the restaurant. Oh, there is not too much to say. Just uh, we came here like a tourist to do nothing. And then we get tired and then we start this little place with a handmade pasta, uh, with the, the sauce fresh every day from my wife, that she's a genius in the recipes. Traditional Italian, only two choices, one vegetarian, one with me, and three appetizer, two dessert, simple, simple menu, fresh, daily made. Not only is the pasta the best I've ever had in my life, better than anywhere I've been in Italy, this is the most humble guy I've ever seen. Literally, when you come here, this is an experience. They only have three or four tables inside. Make sure you make your reservation because it is always packed. The atmosphere is always perfect, but why are we going to talk about it? Let me show you now. Let's go in and see what we're dealing with here. I've had in years, and who would have thought it's a key conquer of all places in Belize? I'm getting the sweats now, so good. The only thing missing tonight is Anna, so special message to Anna. We love you, not because we have to.
We love you, Key Cocker. It's time to go back. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Key Cocker's a vibe. Amazing name.